Hello friends and strangers on the internet. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with a coffee request. Oh, it's been a while since I've done coffee requests. I'm really looking forward to this. Today we are checking out an American progressive metal band. I think I got that right. Called Queensryche. Queensryche? I don't actually know. I'm trying my best. Um, I did learn a little bit about them from Wikipedia. They've been around since the early 80s. They have 16 albums, one EP, that's all I remember, sorry. <laughs> but yes, I'm really looking forward to this. This seems to be a very pro prolific band, very popular in their scene. And I am I personally have never heard of them, or if I have, I have not heard their music or knew about it at the time. So I'm really looking forward to checking them out. But before we do that, I do want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me on Patreon, on Coffee, um, and just liking, subscribing, and all the things you do on YouTube to support a channel you like. I appreciate you doing those things, and I appreciate you sticking around to watch my videos. I'm really enjoying all the different genres I've gotten to check out lately. Popular bands, smaller bands, solo artists, uh, metal, hip-hop, uh, bluegrass, so many genres. It's been so wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. I just, I appreciate you all so much. Let's jump into this reaction. Did I even tell you what song we're checking out? I didn't. I just told you about the band and how I couldn't pronounce their name. The band's name is Queensryche. Queensryche? I don't know. Help me. <laughs> and the song is called Silent Lucidity, and we'll be checking out the official music video for that. So let's jump into this. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Okie dokie artichokey. Get my volume all set up and let's jump into this. Let's go. Queen's Right. Queen's Right? Please help me with that. Queen's Right. With their song Silent Lucidity and the official music video. Let's go. just begun <laughs> that was a fascinating way to introduce the song it started out so 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 soft like a lullaby and then it got more thought provoking so fascinating let's keep i really liked the vibe but i liked that it build up was building up to something let's keep listening it's just beautiful so far There's a place I like to hide A doorway that I run through in the night Relax, child, you were there But only didn't realize And you were scared It's a place where you We 
silent lucidity So I'm not catching all the lyrics, but I'm really, what I am catching is mixing very well with the imagery I'm seeing of the child going on their, uh, I guess, dream world adventure during the best that cinematic bit where the the sheet was kind of flowing over the kid and and then they just disappeared like like they were whisked off to neverland or dreamland or whatever um, magical fantasy world they they took themselves to in that moment i really liked that i'm not catching all of the lyrics though so i feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing so i don't want to give too many of my thoughts in case i'm completely off the mark i guess i'll focus more on like the music and the imagery that i'm seeing and do you know can hear but it's really lovely. It's very thought provoking. It's making me think about, you know, my own childhood and, you know, those those quiet moments before I fell asleep in the dark and the different things I'd think about or imagine about or both at the same time. And it's it's really fascinating how that's changed over time. And that's what this song's making me think about. It's like when you're a kid, you escape into your imagination one way, and then when you're an adult laying in bed not yet asleep, your your imagination is a little different usually more in the realm of reality and less in the realm of fantasy, but you're still using your imagination, aren't you? But that's what that's making me think about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's keep listening, and I'll definitely have to look up the lyrics afterward. Uh, this man has a wonderful singing voice. I'm really liking it. And I really like the vibe of the video. It's so so ethereal with the blue and the stars and the, the flying bed and the little kid. In the, and he's like holding a sheet like a sail on a boat. It's so cute and lovely. Let's keep listening. I'm sorry for rambling. I started tearing up near the end. I think that was a mother. I couldn't actually tell their their, their face. It looked like a woman, but I was again. I'm not really sure. But it made me think about my kiddos. Sometimes they talk in their sleep. I think all kids do, but maybe I'm wrong. But sometimes they talk in their sleep. 
sometimes they're giggling, sometimes they're upset. I always wonder what they're dreaming about. And then, like, that moment in the music video made me think of, like, those moments in the middle of the night when I'd go in their rooms just to make sure, you know, they're still asleep and they're okay. They're not about to fall out of the bed or they're not tangled up in their blankets or, well, uh, just made me think about my kids. <laughs> and I'm getting, like, really warm in the heart right now. Um, I do want to take a moment to read the lyrics because I feel like there was some poetic moments in them that I completely missed because I was too caught up in the video and the sounds themselves instead of what was being said in those sounds. So I'm going to pause the recording and take a moment to read the lyrics. But my first impression was is that it was really beautiful, really beautiful, not just the scenery and the, the imagery, but the performance of it, the movement of it. It started out really calm and serene, kind of like drifting off into sleep. And then it got a, I wouldn't call it chaotic, but it got a little more, um, it crescendoed a bit. There's a bit more movement, a bit more noise in the music. And much like a dream, you know, much like a dream can, can shift moods and be adventurous. And then it got really calm again by the end as we were drawn back into reality outside of the child's imagination and back into reality where the parent is watching over them. Ah, I'm, I'm trying not to tear up thinking about it. It's such a beautiful concept. Um, and one that I've lived through many times as a parent. Uh, I have no idea if I ever lived through that as a kid because I was asleep. You know, if my parents ever came to check on me, I never knew because I was too asleep, you know? So it's, ah, it's interesting to think about it from that angle, too. Uh, anyway, I'm going to pause the recording and read the lyrics and then come back with my final thoughts. Uh, be right back. Oh, that is extra beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad I took the time to read the lyrics because there's a whole part of this story that I missed. And it's the part where in the lyrics he's uh, describing how um, while you're in your dreams, you're living another life and learning lessons from that life. And that is so true, isn't it? That, uh, and you can you can think about that in a non, you know, non-magically kind of way you can think about that from like a really sciencey science uh like psychology kind of way you know when you're asleep your brain is especially as a child when you're asleep your your brain is processing everything that you've been through from the moment it came online till till then and in that process it's going through these little adventures running through these little systems and scenarios and and um um what would you call it um simulations if you will uh so, sorry i just kicked my desk um so like that's really quite wonderful, isn't it? And it's really, oh, I love how poetic that is because that's so true. You would learn, and you learn it all subconsciously. I mean, there are people who have like actual lucid dreams and, and people who do like dream therapy and who believe in dream magic. And I'm not gonna disparage their beliefs or their talents in those fields. Um, I'm just a normal dreamer, you know, like when I dream, I dream. If I remember it, I remember it. If I don't, I don't, you know, so like I'm not going to discredit anybody's experiences with uh, anything extra when it comes to that world. But even for us normal, normy, regular, regular dreamers who just dream at night and wake up the next day and live about our lives like that is still in a way a semi magical process very, very cool psychology process that happens in our brain. I don't know all the science words, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not like a doctor of any of this stuff, but I'm just I'm just conceptualizing it that while you're asleep, you are kind of running simulations in your mind and in those dreams are like representations of the simulations you're running and all the things you're processing. And it's like you're living another life in there during that time and you're learning things. You're like relearning lessons that you learned in your lifetime, your awake time, not a lifetime. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, a little sleepy today. But um, that is so beautiful. I'm sorry to ramble, but that's just such a lovely concept. I'm going to go ahead and end the video and stop rambling because like, I'll probably just keep reiterating myself and building on the ideas I'm thinking of. But what a what a thought provoking song. I mean, obviously, I love the bit where it's like the, the, the parent and child and their relationship in this situation and, and how beautiful that is. But what a lovely idea that you're like living another life in your dreams and you're learning lessons from it, especially from the point of view of a child. Like that is a huge process. The, the amount of things you learn when you're a child is kind of astounding. There's, it's, 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 it's worth looking up, honestly, if, you're, if you don't know. Like you learn most of the things you're ever gonna learn in your life when you're a child. The rest of it is just like review and extra details of the stuff you've already learned. It's very fascinating. But that's what it's got me thinking about. Wow, so beautiful. That's got my brain wrinkling. I've rambled too much though already. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go to end the video here. Thank you, everybody who's made it this far. That was a bit rambly. But what a beautiful song. What a beautiful band. Do they do, they do a lot of like thought provoking? 
thought provoking songs like this. I did see that they're a progressive band, so they probably do a couple more heavy things here and there. Maybe focus more on technicality than heaviness. I'm not sure. Ah, what a wonderful introduction to this band, though. I'd love to check out more of their music. Thank you so much to the coffee supporter who suggested this, uh, who requested it more specifically. I appreciate your support, and I appreciate in this introduction to this band. That was truly wonderful. Thank you. Yes, wow, look at that timestamp. This video has definitely gone on far enough. It's time to end it. I will see y'all in the next video. Um, if you want to check out more of Queen's, Queen's Rights, click the link in my description. That's the song I just reacted to. It's from their direct channel. You can check out more of their music from there. Time to end the video. Bye. For now.